About a week ago, I made a video detailing how I've made a couple billion gold from crafting gems. But the problem with that is it does take a little bit of money to get started in. You know, getting all the recipes and upgrading your jewelers, like about a million gold, and actually crafting a Radiant Star gem is, you know, 20 million gold just to make 500k to 2 million gold to craft. So in order to get some starter money for that, um, I think if you literally have like just terrible gear, no money, you're like a brand new 60, your best bet, and you don't want to play the auction house. I mean, we've, we've established that the gym guide is for people who don't want to do the auction house or just they just can't figure it out. Um, I think the best way to do that is Leoric Signet Farming. And again, it's not the optimal way. And it can be pretty frustrating, but you don't really need any money to get started. Um, you do want to buy some things, but they're all very cheap. So in particular, Leoric Signet is a XP ring, and you never want to look for Legacy. Always look for the actual ring. And even at its lowest, this is actually pretty cheap. Like a week ago, they were up at about $60 million. Um, it's a ring with bonus experience, and it can it always gets a minimum of 20%. can be as high as 30%. So even the worst rolled ones are worth 50 plus million gold. You now, if you're watching this video six months from now, and these are only worth like 10 million gold, maybe you shouldn't do this. But as long as the price is good, it's like, what could a level um, 60 person find realistically that is worth more than this? I mean, you could find, like, a Crypt Mempo or something like that if you're playing on Inferno, but if you're playing on Inferno with bad gear, you know, you're not going to be killing fast enough to really make it worthwhile. Okay, so what is Lyric Signet? It's a 14, level 14 ring, and since it's only level 14, it drops an Act 2 of normal mode. In particular, it seems to only drop past um, Magda, but before the like the Vault of the Assassin and the Zoltan Cole stuff, it can drop in Vault of the Assassin and those zones towards the end of Act 2. But at that point, you also start seeing this Manald Heal Ring, which is level 17. And you really don't want that interfering. I mean, it's, it's worth something still, too, though. 700k is where they start, but why would you want to... Um, it's no Leoric Signet, so I'd rather not compete for it with um, this. Okay, so before you get started, what we're going to do is, since it's only level 14 enemies, we're going to look to get a Magic Find set. So you, you want to max your Magic Find and your Movement Speed. Don't even worry about stats because... Um, don't worry about stats because the enemies are level 14. They literally have no health. So the first thing we're going to get is... And if you're a demon hunter, this might not be so easy. I'm just going to grab a Sun Keeper. I mean, it's a big damage increase or decrease over what I'm using, but it'll be fine. Okay, so that's 40-some magic find, and only for 25k. Next, we're going to get a Helmet. We'll do all. And we're going to make sure it has sockets. And has magic finds. I can't remember exactly what. Um, so they're going to say that this is even a cheap magic find helm is 300k. Let's cut that down. Yeah, that's way, way more appealing to me. 4k. All right, so you're going to get a full of square topaz or some kind of topaz to stick in there. Um, I've got. One of these sitting around, so I'll use that. Let's see, completed. Alright, so a couple other items. I already have a Lacuni Prowler with Magic Finds. And the reason you want to get that is because they're very cheap if you don't get them with crit. And again, it's level 14 enemies, so you don't really need to worry about DPS. But the 12% movement speed plus the magic find on one item is pretty nice. And the attack speed is nice too because the faster you attack, the faster you can move through. Um, you also want to try to get up to 25 movement speed. I'm using Zuni boots. Any boots will work and so do in his pants or like an, uh, there's various amulets you can get. I mean the 1%, as long as you have 24, it's not going to be a big difference. Okay, so 
Still need a little bit more magic finds. I do have some Paragon levels. Um, and I do have a little bit of magic find in my gear already. But I still need more. And one of the easiest ways to get more is go to armor, amulet, magic find of. So at, that's actually probably going to be a good flip. I'm actually going to buy that and flip that. So when you see something like that that's useful, but it's way underpriced, why not? Um, obviously it's better when you can get it into, um, it's better when you can find more expensive items, but that's just how flip works, because I mentioned that I think it's, you know, a more efficient way to go about this. So we'll just cut it down a little bit, and so I want to make this guy for people who really, um, who really don't have the kind of gear or the money to spend on like a magic find set like this. It's only going to be used for this one thing. Okay, so we're looking at, you know, that's like an extra 120 MF. Um, I do have Paragon levels, and I do also have... I have Paragon levels, and I have um, Follower magic finds. It looks like 20% MF rings are actually still valuable. I mean, they're good for a follower, but I'm kind of surprised. So it's kind of something, um, let's change this to 58. Right. Well, if you're, you know, struggling to make money, make sure you're picking up everything. Okay, so, let's see, here, here, here. Um... It's pretty, I think I have some magic find on my belt already, I do. And probably find a pair of shoulders as well. Some magic find, and I think that'll put me where I want to be. That is maxed out. Oops. Oops sorry about that droid noise if that came through. Hmm, kind of expensive. I don't really want to pay that much. I'd rather go to a different slot. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just going to grab this. Okay, so we got all that done. And we're ready to go. So I set, I'm sorry, I missed one thing. I'm going to come back to it real quick. For the quest, I missed the quest to show you. Normal, make sure monster power is set to 10. And go into the black soul stain, soul stain chamber. I'm going to put these gear away. I don't want to somehow accidentally lose it. Okay, so my magic find now is capped at 400%. I don't know if I even need to wear that. Yeah, I do. I have my head exactly 400. And I do, the reason I do have 400 MF is because um, Sunkeeper on my Dark Templar, or my Templar, playing too much Starcraft. 20% um, magic find here, 44 here and 20 here. I use the puzzle ring, new magic find there, but you know, between these it's 40, 40, it's 88, 108, 128, you get one fourth that counts to your character. So I'm at my um, sorcerer or wizard here is getting like 33% magic find just from having my follower with me. And then a couple Paragon levels, it pushed me to 400. So some people recommend trying to get a Vault of the Assassin to do this run to get um, Nephilim Veiler. But it's, they already have 400% magic find. Five stacks of Nephilim Veiler, it only increases up to 475. And I'd rather just not waste my time with Vault of the Assassin. You can get it there, but again, you're much more likely to get the Manal Teal there. And there's actually one more thing I forgot. So you want to change your character's build to something that's more friendly for um, enemies that deal no damage. 
So in particular, I like to get teleport. And let's see here. I'm going to change my armor to storm armor with scramble. And I mean, each class is going to have different talents, but um, this way I can move faster for sure, and I can teleport. So I do have Volt of the Assassin open. Like I said, I tested it, and it's just I just don't think the time invested there is worth it. Okay, so we're just going to clear the Oasis and the um, Sewers. I kind of want to change the Sray of Frost to Disintegrate. Can't remember the one. Yeah, I just have more width. Like I said, nothing really does any damn. Nothing has any health here, so. I kind of got unlucky there with not very dense spawns. Archon ran out. And the thing that's, you know, the worst part about this is, is it's going to take a long time, unless you're really lucky. So I'm warning you ahead of time, don't say that, oh, I've been farming this for, you know, all day, and I haven't found this, you know, any anything good. Because the monsters are so spread out. And your followers do kill things pretty easily here, so be careful if you're not used to that. Like, keep an eye on the minimap for the legendary icon. Okay, so you do find these little um, side dungeons. I do like them. I said they're. I think they're a little bit nice for the bold assassin because um, I don't think they're quite as high level. So I mean, I've never found a. I never found a Manold heal ring here, but I also haven't spent much time doing this. As I've said before, this is only if you know you can't really afford good gear and don't want to play the auction house. If I was starting over. I will probably play the auction house using the example I just happened to find while building this set, you know, flipping that ring. And I didn't notice if it sold yet, but nope, not yet. I'll we'll keep an eye on it. Okay, Archon's back up. You don't want to worry about killing every last enemy, just you know try to stay moving. Yeah, there's a couple more enemies in here, but I'd rather, he said, I'd rather stay moving rather than worry about completeness. Because completeness is not necessarily going to find you more legendaries, and that's what we're trying to do. And it's just a good Diablo 3 tip in general. He said, I feel like a lot of players, they let their ADD kind of get in their way. Not ADD, but OCD. That's the right one. They need to embrace their ADD and just kill stuff while moving rather than focus on uh... rather than focus on killing like every lost enemy so as you can see I'm almost up, I'm up to my five sex in Ephraim Valor I didn't have to go in the um... Vault of the Assassin at all and I don't think it's going to make a big difference. I think this is a little slow, the way these are farming. 
respawning. And if, if you're really poor in the game, you can make money selling this slow level gear. Like we, like I showed you earlier, the Manol Teal is worth, you know, 700k right now. And the gear itself is, um, like rares and stuff. People that want to level up new characters and they want to do it quickly, they like to buy good gear for them. And they'll pay a couple hundred k a piece if it's the right stuff. At least 50 or 100k, which if, you know, they're completely broke. And you need the, your, the 20 million to start doing the gem strategy. It definitely, um, it adds up. As you can see, it's like I, I barely see any rares. You know, when I'm playing on MP, MP7 in Inferno or something like that, you see like a rare everything you kill. And even then, like getting legendaries is not super common. So I mean, you can easily go for like an hour or l longer and never see a legendary, especially if you're not playing in World of the Assassin, which as I said earlier, has kind of has a really low chance to drop the um has a low chance to drop the ring because there's just more competing legendaries, different level range. Seeing some funny lag here. I don't know if it's me or this event. I think it's this event. So I kind of like doing these events because the monsters actually have like a big loot table. You saw the blues he dropped, which is not, you know, could be worse. It's kind of weird. Probably not the most efficient way to go about this, but whatever. I actually do am getting a little bit of XP from this. Didn't realize you got it from such low level enemies. Okay, so I've cleared out most of this area. So rather than look for the last, you know, single enemy or two, I'm gonna head to the last area that we'll do in this run. And that will be sewers. And we do this just because it seems to be in the right level range. A lot of players have claimed to have found these here. It's not neither of these areas are super packed with mobs, but you know the rarity of the drop is also why it's so valuable. If it was as easy to find as Manol Teal, even if it was um, still better, it wouldn't be worth nearly as much. I should have added teleport one to this build, just as it's so much harder to keep up Archon 
when you don't have um you're forming in these not very dense areas. I feel like I'm running around without teleport a lot with a lot of full arcane power. Probably the wormhole thing would be pretty nice right now. Okay, so that's it. And there was a couple uniques in here. As you can see, you know, it's not, um... It's not a lot of stuff to kill in this run, but that's it. And, you know, if you really want to try to find one, I just went through a whole run and I didn't see a single legendary, and I wouldn't expect to see one every run. But, um... And when you do actually find a legendary, it might not necessarily be the, um... The one you want. So, this does take a long time to do. Just keep that in mind if you decide to do it. Again, this is only for people that, um, they just don't have the, um, will or just don't understand how to play on the auction house and want to get, like, some star gold to start crafting gems. So, this didn't sell yet, but I'm, I'm certain it will. I actually want to take that gem out of there before I forget. Anyway, that's it for this video. Um, again, warning, it does take a long time to do, but you know, if you persevere, you will eventually get one. So, good luck.